Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I will conduct a load testing experiment on an ExpressJS API endpoint, comparing the performance of two different JavaScript runtimes, Node.js and Band.js. This video will focus on analyzing the performance of an ExpressJS API route that calculates Fibonacci numbers under heavy load using both Node.js and Band.js as our runtime environments. Okay, so let's go to the code. This is the code that will be used to perform the tests. And as you can see, I will use the same code for both runtime environment, but each has its own Docker file content. For Band API, it's a different Docker file content from the Node.js API. Essentially, it's just a endpoint that calculates Fibonacci numbers and returns the result along with duration time in milliseconds. As you can see, if I change this param with a different number, the result will be different and this is the duration time in milliseconds. Okay, now let's move on to configure and deploy these two apps on zCloud. I will start by selecting the appropriate computing resources, defining the app name, choosing the deployment region, and configuring Docker related settings, such as the Docker file path in your project. As you can see, configuring and deploying apps on zCloud is incredibly straightforward and user-friendly. Ok, the two deploys finished, now let's overload these endpoints. And to do this, I will use the AutoCanon uh, HTTP benchmark tool writing in Node.js. Here is the command that I will run for both environments. The C flag represents the number of concurrent connections to use. W flag is the number of the worker threads used to fire the requests. And D flag is the number of seconds to run AutoCanon. Ok, first let's test the BAN API. I will run the AutoCanon command with these flags and pointing to the BAN API and passing 15 as the NUM carry pattern. Ok, now the AutoCanon will fire my API for 1 minute. And after 1 minute, the results are displayed in these two tables containing the information about the requests. But before checking it, let's fire your Node.js API. I will run the same AutoCanon command with the same flags, but pointing to the Node.js API and passing the same value to the NUM carry pattern. Perfect, now we have the results for the two APIs. So let's compare them. First, let's check the latency data. For Band.js, we have a average, a latency average of almost 400 milliseconds, while Node.js have a average latency a little bit more than one second. And both Band and Node reached a peak of around 3 seconds here in this last column. And the second table is about requests. And we can check that BAN has an average of requests per second of 61, while Node.js has an average of 21. And in this last line, we can see that BAN was capable to handle 4K requests, while Node.js managed to handle 1k requests. For a more detailed analysis, I will use the metrics provided on the Grafana dashboard. You can access the Grafana dashboard through the link available in this appinf page by clicking this metrics drop down and select the dashboard that you want to see. Ok, let's start with the evaluation of fiscal resource, CPU and memory. While the BAM API reached the 60% of the 
CPU allocated for, for it, the node API reached the maximum of the CPU usage. And about memory, BudgetS had a average memory usage of almost 50 megabytes, while Node.js reached almost 80 megabytes. In other words, BAN memory usage was half of the Node.js. Now let's check the Ingress dashboard where we can see the requests metrics. In this chart network IO pressure, we can check that BAN was capable to send almost 50 kilobytes per second of output, while Node.js reached a peak of 80 kilobytes per second. In this table below, we can see the request metrics grouped by path, grouped by API name and the response status. And BAN handle almost a triple as many requests as Node.js, as you can see in this column, and with a lower average response time. And about unsuccessful requests, BAN experienced a failure rate of 0.4, whereas a Node.js had a failure rate of 1.72%. And if you scroll horizontally, you can see more columns with more data about the response time and request size. In summary, BAN.js demonstrated a superior performance in terms of handling requests per second, lower latency, and reduced memory consumption in comparison with Node.js. And it's important to note that these results are based on a benchmark testing of a simple endpoint. And we are not suggesting you to stop in Node.js or that Node.js is inferior. These are a simple numerical observations. That's all for this video. As you can see, the cloud observability feature is amazing. It does not need any setup from your end, making it super easy to keep an eye on your apps. I hope you enjoyed this whole metrics comparison game and don't forget to leave your opinions below in the comments and share this video with a friend and check this video that are showing on my side. See you in the next video. Bye.